What's up, Fat Kid Nation? I'm out here in beautiful Arizona at Cold Beers and Cheeseburgers, seeing if I can defeat and eat their legendary burger slab challenge. I'll have 13 minutes and 20 seconds to eat a seven patty, three and a half pound burger. Let's go. So I'm back at Cold Beers and Cheeseburgers. This is my third time attempting a challenge. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with their challenges, each location has a different record board and leaderboard. And based off that location's record board, that kind of is your strategy of what challenges to take. Now at this location, this is the same location that Notorious Bob and I each did a three and a five pound burger, uh, three and five patty burger, excuse me, in less than five minutes each, I believe. So we are sitting here now and I'm examining the record board where eight patties is held by Magic Mitch. And he did that in just around 10 minutes, which is a great time. But seven has a record of 13 minutes and 20 seconds, which is why I selected that burger. I'm getting a half pound less and three minutes more on my time, as well as the diplomacy of I'm not one of the eaters that wants to go out and stamp Mitch's record, let him stay on the wall of glory and rule the greater Phoenix area. So this is where the video is going to take a severe left turn. Now I have a question for all of you. What do you define as a food challenge? Now yes, we all understand a restaurant poses a certain number of weights of food, spice level, whatever, a certain time limit, sometimes prizes, yada, yada, yada. But at some times, it's not a challenge for a lot of people. Now it is to the average everyday person, but to a professional, it's 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 not sometimes. And today, it's it's not really a challenge for me. But I sit there and look at like, hey, we're gonna get some good shots for them. I sent them pictures and all of that. And some of these bigger influencers, I mean, you're getting their content, you're getting you know rubs on their pages, all of that kind of stuff, which is great for the local businesses. And that's really where I feel the magic of food challenges are, because a lot of times I don't feel like very many people take on these challenges, except those of us that are in this community taking on challenges. So that's where I ask you, what is a food challenge to you? And we're going to jump in with my answers on the next. So there's a few components to me that really make up a food challenge. One, it's got to be active for at least a year. And why a year? So it gives other people and eaters a chance to try it. Because sometimes these challenges are only around for six months. No one takes it because it's not marketed correctly. They don't know how to do it, whatever. It's too big for the general public, yada, yada, yada. But to me, it's got to be around a year to let people try it. The other one is, is that it has to be open to the public. I've done a lot of events in Vegas where it's been just a challenge for me and it's more showcasing uh, their food showcasing you know that they can do this for caterings and parties etc but it's only for me so I don't usually factor those into my overall win column count them as a victory or a food challenge I, I, I take it as like almost a preseason game where it's this mashup more of an exhibition and, and a marketing event than a, a normal food challenge because if it's not open to the rest of the public then we can't really gauge that it's a challenge for other people uh, and that's just two of the big ones that I hang my hat on and honestly I'd probably have close to 20 to 40 more wins if that was the case. Now we're going to jump into another food challenge thing uh, on the next one. So 
to me, another thing is with like food challenges, like this is not a challenge, you know, but food challenge is such an ambiguous open category. You I mean, oh, I tried to eat a Subway sandwich in 20 seconds. That's a food challenge. Well, yes, yes, it is. You're challenging yourself. You're setting a time, yada, yada, yada. But in that regard, it's also like, you know, wh- where are we getting? This? So it's kind of fun to me. Everyone has their own set of rules. And I'm just very intrigued to hear yours because when I walk into a place, and I see someone holding records 11 through 14, and the staff is saying, no, they didn't start at 11 and go up because that's a different story to me. They just kind of like ate 14, then worked their way down. Well, you know, if you ate 14, you're gonna get 11. I'm all about setting records and whatnot and having fun. But at what point is it just like free food? Like at that point, partner with the business, try to do something crazy, get innovative. And that's really what I appreciate about some of the bigger, best eaters in the community is them partnering with these restaurants, forming different challenges just for them, where it actually is a challenge. Because if you're walking in and you know you're gonna win, is that really a challenge? And that's where I'm gonna leave you with. If you walk in, I knew I was gonna eat this burger. Is this really a challenge? It's entertainment for us, it's entertainment for you. I like to tell the stories, but this is just something that I examined in 2023 and let you know where my head's at, that if it doesn't, you know, that if it's a private event for me, not a win, as well as, um, you know, I'm gonna count this as a win. This is win number 100. I love cold beers and cheeseburgers. Can't wait to go back. And uh, yeah, just interested in everyone's thoughts. At the end of the day, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you. I know we're not a huge channel. We're nearing 5,000 subscribers. I, I've already begun planning it with all the ADD of what we're gonna do. And it's all for you. Like, you know, I try to have fun with it and do different stuff. And I appreciate this evolution. It was we heading into the new year of everything this channel once was, where we were loud, boisterous, and obnoxious because everyone's too, you know, kind and friendly to this, you know, rhythm we have where it's just having fun. And, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff coming out. I got three, four more videos. Took a couple weeks off. It was a rough New Year's and holiday season for me, but I hope you all had a great holiday season, a great New Year's, and we're going to kick it off. Um, Yeah, stay sick, stay thick. Appreciate each and every one of you. Peace.